So Hasura is something I actually never considered using until recently when I was talking to the founder and he actually gave me some ideas of how to use it. And if you haven't used it before, what it is, is it's a similar tool to PostGraph file where it takes your Postgres database and turns it into a GraphQL API. But it actually functions in a very different way, which we're going to see in a second. And I gave it a try and there's two things that I immediately really liked about it. The first is it seems really easy to integrate into an existing project. And also secondly, they have a UI, a website, kind of a dashboard that you can use. And I actually really liked it. It was easy to use and uh, I could see myself kind of, and we're gonna take a look at it in a second. You can do uh, Postgres stuff and Hasura stuff in there, which we'll see what that means in a second. Um, but here's how I see adding this to a project. So for example, here's what my current uh, setup looks like. Uh, ignore this right side, this is where Hasura comes in, but I have a GraphQL server. For example, I'm running Node on that, and then I'm using some kind of ORM, and I have a PostgreSQL database. So I could be using SQLize, TypeORM, Prisma. These days I've been using TypeORM recently. And so for example, I've created my database using TypeORM, and I'm making requests to Postgres through that. So what I can do is I can actually just plug Hasura into projects that are using that right now. So you actually just spin up another, so Hasura you can run in a Docker container. Also, I think there's some places you can boot up like Heroku, um, but it just runs in another instance. And then you can use schema stitching. So take your two GraphQL schemas, the one that Hasura creates for you, and the one that your GraphQL server creates. And then what you can do is you can have some requests go to your GraphQL server, have them be handled by Typeform, and some be handled by Hasura. And so that's pretty nice. And I think you can probably set PostGraphile up in a similar manner where you kind of just have a instance over here for uh, PostGraphile. Um, and so what's nice about this is I can choose which ones I want to handle with Hasura and which ones I want to handle with Typeform. So my mutations and queries and subscriptions, those guys that are uh, require a lot more business logic or things that don't make sense to be created automatically from a database, I just handle my GraphQL server. And then the rest of them, I just you know have them have Hasura handle it. So what this turns out being is a lot of times, Hasura will just handle the subscriptions and the queries. Because in Hasura, you can actually add some authorization and some permissions. And so you can actually tell it what the current user can fetch um, from the query. And then your usually your mutations you have more business logic in, and so you just have your GraphQL server over here handle that. Uh, so that's kind of architecturally where Hasura fits into this. And again, you could probably have multiple servers and whatnot if you wanted to. And so here's what it looks like. So I just spinned up a Hasura Docker container, and what it does, and I just pointed it to the uh, database, and this is a database that I created using the PostGraphile example. So it's a forum database. And here, this is what the dashboard looks like. And so I can actually see a little graphical. And at the beginning, you actually have nothing in your GraphQL uh, schema. So what you do is you can go over here and you can see all your database tables. There's currently none in the uh, public schema, but if I come over here to the form example, I have two database tables here and uh, I can add them. So when I add a person, for example, I now have added this database table. And what that means is I'm exposing it. So if I come over here to the docs, I can see I now have a query mutation and subscription. And if I go in there, it actually creates all the things that I would expect from an auto-generated um, schema. So here's our queries. We can look at our mutations and there's gonna be CRUD there. And there's gonna be you know the subscription that you would expect. And then so that's pretty nice. And what I can do is I can actually click on the table. And again, you can click exactly what you want uh, to show and what you want to hide. But you can see also I can run uh, just for example, SQL here, right? So this is not just Hasura stuff. This is if you just want to access your database, you can do it through this dashboard. Uh, but here I can see some of the data. So I can see it just kind of like a data viewer, which is actually kind of nice. Um, uh, I like having this. And I can go ahead and insert a row, and you can see there's some tabs up here, and here's where I can actually make changes to the database itself if I want to. I can actually expose relationships. It looks like in this case, this database is not using a uh, 
any relationships there. And then I can see here's the role as well. And again, if I come over here, I can go ahead and track more schemas, or sorry, more uh, database tables. And I think I have some in the form example. There's a person account, there we go. And now I'm exposing uh, all of them in these different schemas. Uh, and I can see the docs over here. We now have a lot of stuff, so our person, and we also have our post, and then there's a private person as well. And I think I'm sure there's ways to uh, fine tune which exactly fields and whatnot you show. And let's see, do I have any relationships set up? Yeah, here we go. And so you can actually fine tune, like for example, right now uh, this relationship is not, I'm not able to fetch this in the schema, uh, but we can just add that if we want to. Uh, oh, it looks like I have to give it a name. I don't know, persons. Uh, anyway, so that's that's Hasura, and so this this interested me. So I like the GUI of this. This seems a lot pretty simple to just kind of set up and for me to be able to add stuff. And uh, so this is something I'm going to be exploring a little bit more because of just how easy it is to add. Uh, being able to just plug that in and uh, just like you get use out of it immediately. Um, and then so the, what I'm thinking is this GraphQL schema over here. So pruning it to just the fields that I want um, and then having this being stitched with my uh, GraphQL server. So that's something that interests me and something I may be using more. Um, so I'm trying to decide if uh, having the queries and subscriptions routed over to Hasura makes sense. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much my take. Uh, just looking over Hasura a little bit. I don't know if you guys have used it, what your thoughts are. Um, I'm curious if anyone is using it in production. Uh, yeah.